when you have a pair of Division I universities as close as these two, the battle lines are drawn through families, through co-workers, and as we prepare to show you this double overtime masterpiece, we paint you a picture of your fandom right here prior to the game. Well, being from Toledo and working at Toledo for 30 years at the university, it's bigger than probably the, so the average guy. So before I even worked there, I always wanted to be part of the university. So the university was my dream job. So was that a good rivalry? Yes, it is. It's pretty cool to have it for both in the fall and the spring, because I know not a lot of schools have that. So it's nice after fall semester, we always get the chance to let the other team redeem themselves. So it's. It's definitely neat to have it for both semesters. Uh, in the past four years, we're currently 18-1. and one. Uh, So I've actually never experienced a loss to them, so I don't really know what it's like to lose to BGSU. Uh, so it's pretty cool always winning uh, when we're up against them. Well, being a BG guy, I remember the losses more. The basketball team's in great shape now. Obviously, Toledo's doing well and continuing it, but Michael's got his call. We're back. What's your prediction of today? Um, Falcons all the way. Toledo's going to beat the crap out of them. That's what I think is going to happen. I think they can beat these guys easy. Well, I'm rooting for BG, but I wouldn't bet a whole lot of money on it. Well, get your pocket butts ready. Ex-Falcon and now New York Giant wide receiver Roger Lewis in attendance at the game. We get to the action right before the half. Malik, you'll have to Google his last name. Breaking ankles and gets buckets and the momentum heading into the half for BG. Rockets down three with a minute left. Kick out to John John Williams and we head to OT in overtime. BGSU down by eight, eight seconds left. Falcons with the inbound and Zach Denny wide open connects. We're headed to double overtime. In double OT, Mr. Denny again changes name to Mr. Clutch. He finishes with a career high 28 points as the Falcons top the Rockets 104 to 100. I'm not sure any quite compared to to one like this, especially after getting down five in both overtimes, you know, and uh, I mean, it was just a great effort by our guys. We had a great crowd. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better game. You know, I'm just happy that we're on this side of it. I mean, Wes Alcigar was big down the stretch, and then Zach Denny was just absolutely humongous down the stretch. He hit every big shot that we needed. Uh, we coached you up a play for him out of the timeout to get a three. He hit that one, and then he hit a couple more. Was that? I mean, you may think, hey, somewhat of a bad shot, but. He's got ice water in his veins, and when he's got it going, man, he's one of the best shooters around. <laughs> 